Sometime whilst mm-hmm. I go to university, mm-hmm. and uh, so I'm start, um, I got university of Nairobi, right? Which I was there for three years. You had determined your engineering. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it was it was an easy decision for you. No, it was an easy decision. Yeah, it was an easy decision. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought arts were okay, and I actually, in retrospect, I value arts more than uh, I did then. Mm-hmm. I think we also a bit brainwashed by our teachers. Mm. Um, in that they made us believe that uh, science was, it was like science was it. Mm. Now that I look at life more holistically, mm. I see the importance and the place of arts. Mm. And um, I see that probably would still not have done arts, mm. but I would have given, you know, arts a, a, a more sort of a mm. look or closer look. Right. And done a bit more mm. to try and build my art sort of uh, yeah, competence, is, yeah, right. yeah, like mm. music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. So you're at the UON uh, yes. studying engineering. Yes. Eighty three thereabouts. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So, which campus was it? University of Nairobi. No, no, no. Which, which, which particular campus? Uh, it's engineering. Yeah. So it's just like oh, across. across. Yes. Yeah, yeah, but the mm-hmm. main campus. Main campus. Yeah. yeah. So you are the main campus yeah. in engineering. Mm-hmm. Um, how is this time for you? You are. You are not. You are not a young man. I mean, you are not an adolescent. <laughs> so you are a young man now. Yes. Broken into your yeah. into your early twenties. Yes. I assume. Yeah. So how is life for you at the time? Life is uh, so. My class. My class was a small one. Mm. So we were about. Uh, I think maybe twenty five students at most. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it just because you know. It requires a lot of very specialized equipment, very expensive. Right. So they try to keep the class very small. Very, really, yeah. And in my first year, it was all boys. Oh. Not a single girl. Okay. So again, the issue of voting wise boys. For yeah. Them, oh, my oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So <laughs> I still remember during during a break time, mm. for us just to be able to interact with girls, mm. we actually go to the admin block. Yeah. Just to be able to interact with girls, yeah. yeah. And um, but in second year, mm-hmm. there was a girl who happened to be in a one year head, mm-hmm. she got pregnant and repeated, so we're very happy <laughs> <laughs> to have one in our class, yeah, yeah. And but what I remember about my first year is party. Oh, oh yeah, wow. okay. yeah. So there was a lot of partying, mm. a lot of partying. Uh, now my brother, of course, by then he was a major in the military, okay. had access to free whiskeys. Mm. Uh, at the university, we had uh, parties every Friday. Mm. So I would attend like six on a Friday evening. I would attend like six different discos. Oh man! On one night, and you call them discos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we start one at the engineering block, then after that go to the architectural, then after that go to Kenya Science, and oh, we just man. be all over the city yeah. having party and yeah. you know party. So the, the equivalent of what is now club hopping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, really that. Mm. Yes, mm-hmm. one club hopping. Oh man, a lot. Mm. And then of course with the very cheap whiskey. Yeah. Then you know, okay. uh, I would just buy from Afco. Yeah. You know. It, so you would be like the provider. Yeah. Okay. You're the source. <laughs> <laughs> the very connected. Very interesting. You're yes. the plug for this yes. thing for, yeah. <laughs> for everyone. <laughs> yes. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. Very nice. And so yeah. you do this in your first, first year. year. First year. Um, do you do you? I and you. I mean, you're you're performing well in your engineering course. Yes, mm. I was doing very well. Actually, mm. that was the strangest thing mm. because uh, my performance in class was. Very good, you'd imagine because of all that, mm-hmm. it would have been uh, not as good. But mm-hmm. you know, I mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Then, in my second year, one of the guys in my class was mm-hmm. called uh, Jonah Line, mm-hmm. and he was a navigator. Now, a navigator was a Christian organization at the university. Mm-hmm. And um, no, then there was him. Mm-hmm. Then I met a lady called Helen. Mm-hmm. Helen was uh, I had a cousin also in the university. Mm-hmm. Uh, doing veterinary medicine mm. so um so she she introduced me to a friend mm. who i had known many years back mm-hmm. who was involved with the navigators right and so you know we began hanging out mm-hmm. 
And but you know, for me, the way I'd known Christians before mm. were the Christian Union mm. type. I think the Christian Union of our culture. Mm -hmm. That uh, you know, people speak in a particular way, they mm. dress in a particular way. Mm -hmm. And you know, for me, Christians were for failures. Mm. People who are not necessarily very intelligent, mm -hmm. you know, mm. uh, dress in a particular way. Mm. And you couldn't catch me in that culture, just so you know, I'm afraid that's not. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be associated with that. Mm. But then Helen began inviting me to the Navigator mm -hmm. uh, picnics. Mm. And several, several, several things I noticed. One, they were very cute looking girls. Mm -hmm. And second, the loss of fun. Mm. That's when I began realizing, wait a minute. Mm. You know, maybe Christianity is not necessarily for mm. what I used to perceive. Mm. And it is through attending the Navigator you know, mm. functions mm -hmm. that I really, I think God used that to mm. help me disarm me. Because mm. often time it was like, even if I was to be a Christian, mm. who would I hang out with? Mm. Some of the kind of guys I see, mm. I don't want to hang out with. Mm. Mm. But then I saw a group of guys doing other electrical engineering, mm. lawyers, mm. fun guys, mm. uh, also attending the navigator function, yeah. I began to realize, you know, I can have another group of friends. Say somewhere else can be lost. Yeah. Mm. So uh, it is through that then I was I met my teacher about Christ. Mm. I became a Christian in my second year. Mm -hmm. And then my whole life changed after that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How did that change? How did that decision change your life? Everything. Mm. I mean it just flipped mm. my whole life. Mm. Um because you know, just coming to realization that, uh, you know, um, so first that's by an incident happening mm -hmm. at the University of Nairobi. Can I take a glass? Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Keep, keep silver, yeah. yeah. Mm. So at the University of Nairobi, mm. I lived in um, Hall 10, mm -hmm. room 23. That is my second year. Mm -hmm. and year. Mm. So this day, I am in my room. Mm. Just having, you know, I think it was after lunch, mm. relaxing. Mm -hmm. Then I suddenly felt death in the room. Mm. Yeah, it was just a feeling of death everywhere. And uh, then I thought, this is not a very good sort of feeling here. Mm. Let me get off the room. Mm. When I tried to get off the bed, I really couldn't. Like my body had forced. And um, then, I had a sense of myself coming out of my body. And I thought, wait a minute, I'm about to go. And I began praying and asking God to give me extra time on earth. But the more I prayed, the more myself left the body. It's more like I could feel my physical body and it's like I'm sort of out of my body. Now, that was the most scary experience I've ever faced. And several thoughts came through my mind. Because one, I felt my spirit was a very dirty, dirty spirit. It was going to face a holy God. And that is an extremely frightening experience. It's when I realized that uh, even if people who don't have Christ, even if they were allowed to heaven, they would have to be taken out because you really cannot combine a holy God and a holy spirit. So I really prayed and asked God, if you give me just a few days, I would make a correction of my life. And uh, so I prayed for it seemed to be an eternity. Then sent my spirit back to my body. <laughs> and uh, you know, as you can imagine, I did not want to be in that room. So I took off like a bullet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I went to hall six where my friend Mutala. Mutala used to be with me at Testare. Mm. I went and knocked on his room. Mm. And I told Mutala, Mutala, let me go and buy you a drink. So I took him to student center mm. <laughs> and told Mutala, let me tell you what has just happened. Mm. I narrated what had just happened, the near-death experience. Mm. And he told me my just before you came to my room, mm -hmm. I had a similar experience. What? Yes. And then I realized what God was telling me. Because he knew if that just happened and it is just me who experienced it, 
I'll begin explaining it again. Or maybe there's another thing that I was sleeping on and so forth. So he wanted to make sure there was a, a, a similar ex experience. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So like I'm not, I cannot in future begin saying it was just my body playing tricks on me. Oh. Yeah. Oof. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. So this happening in your second year. Yeah. Second year. All right. And then. Uh, so I give my so I give my life to Christ. Mm -hmm. There's a guy who was sharing the gospel with me. Yeah. Mutala does also because you know for all yeah, of us it's quite a traumatic yeah. experience. Mm -hmm. And um, so then I joined the navigators. Okay. And uh, so now, mm -hmm. when in the first year it was engineering and parting, mm -hmm. now it became uh, engineering mm -hmm. and uh, of course navigators mm -hmm. with my post studies, mm -hmm. developing my relationship with. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. So that, that and you pick on navigators now for for yeah. like. Sort of all the rest of your campus. Yes, my yes. campus life. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which you continue with for how long is um, an engineering course? It was three years. Oh, so like eighty three to eighty five. Yes, I left in eighty four. I think eighty seven. Eighty seven. All right. Seven. Okay. All right. Yeah, it was eighty four to eighty seven. Eighty four to eighty seven. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, you graduate. I graduate. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then what? Uh, what happened? Mm -hmm.